hi everyone welcome back to my channel once again my name is ali akifenwa and in this video i'm going to show you how to place your orders on hot all right many of us are uh you know we are finding it very difficult to place orders on hot at times you might place a buy order and you see it's pending for a very long very long period of time sometimes you might place an order a uh, sell order and it's also going to be pending and you find out that you are losing a lot of money because you are probably um buying due to a pump call you um received or a signal you received for you to buy a particular token and if you are buying late you might be buying at all time high or if you have actually bought and you want to sell and the coin or the token has already dumped you will lose a lot of money so in this video i'm going to show you how to avoid all these things all right so the first thing i want you to know about hot is that uh they don't have market order unlike binance and some other exchanges where you can buy at the particular price that uh, that token is actually going for at that moment okay let's go to our market uh our market um the list of tokens we have here as you can see all the tokens have their prices all right now if you want to buy let's say btc all right btc btc has a lot it has a lot of peers you can buy btc using your usdt or usd or any other peer that um, this platform actually lists ethereum same thing for ethereum we have usdt you can buy ethereum with usdt you can buy with btc you can buy with usd all right you can buy with usd so for whatever token you are trying to buy first you have to know the peer that it has all right for example i have vox let's say vox for example vox vox finance if i click on vox finance all right you can see that its peer is what usdt so i'm going to i must i'll, I'll make sure i have usdt in my um hot beat so that i can use it to purchase vox all right so let's try to buy vox let's try to buy vox i'm going to click on buy vox if you want to sell you click on sell vox all right so i'm going to click on buy vox now you can also switch from here from buy to sell all right so um secondly before i show you how to buy in case you don't have USDT and you want to purchase with other um, peer, you can click on this to see if it has other peers. So I'm going to click on it to see. You can buy Vox with either USDT or BTC. But that's by the way, that's not where we're going to right now. Now, how to place an order? And according to Hotbit, uh, they said the market price for Hotbit is 7.2. Okay, if I click on that 7.2, you can see it's showing the uh, market price here. All right, 7.2. If I try to buy Vox, with um this market price 7.2 which has changed to 7.49 this market is actually volatile at this moment and it's changing 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 because of the rate at which people are buying it so if i try to buy vox let's say one vox one vox is supposed to cost 7.49 according to the market price but you'll be surprised to know that if i try to buy this vox at this market price it's going to be pending i don't know it can happen let's try it it's going to be pending it might be other cryptocurrencies many of you have been going through this and i know you you understand what i'm actually trying to say so let's buy vox i'm going to click on buy vox let's see yes you can see it is pending i know someone is going to take the order right now but let me cancel it on time i don't want to buy vox actually so you can see that it shows that the um, um trade is pending i just canceled it actually so it's pending why is it pending it's pending because hot beats um hot beats does not have market order you cannot you can't place the trade according to what that currency is saying at that moment you can only place trade according to what others want to buy or what others want to sell according to the price they want to buy it or the price they want to sell it now at at my right hand side there you have the order book this place is called the order book all right these are the list of people that are trying to buy or sell cryptocurrency at different prices you can see this first person here he wants to buy vox at 7.49 all right but the market price is saying 7.21 he said he wants to buy at 7.49 i don't know why the other person wants to buy vox at 7.2 and this is the quantity they want to buy at the right hand side the quantity they want to buy they want to buy 1.78768 what of it at 7.49 the second person 7.2 he wants to buy it at 0.59 whatever okay the list keep updating because people are trying to buy and sell buy and sell okay look at this one on top this red guys here they are the one that want to sell their token all right this one this first person here wants to sell 
107.672 worth of vox you want to buy it at 8.18 dollar so it's your duty to look at this other book all right if you see that these people are they are not um you do not see the range of what you want to buy or sell you can click on this two decimal that is here you can change it to three decimal or one decimal whatever the platform provides for you if i change to one decimal you can see it here but i'm going to just leave it at two decimal uh, that's by the way you can make research on that on your own so your duty to look at this other book and see okay at what price did i want to buy this vox if the market is saying 7.66 should i buy it uh at 8.18 because what you actually want to do is you want to buy from a seller from sellers all right if you are buying you have to buy from sellers you can't buy from a buyer all right you can't buy from someone that wants to buy you have to buy from a seller's hand and if you want to sell you have to buy from a um if you want to sell you have to sell from a buyer's hand all right people that want to buy you have to sell it to them so i want to buy vox i have to look at these people and say okay uh, market is saying 7.6 but these guys want to sell at a more expensive rate which one is the cheapest among them the cheapest among them is actually the one that is closer to the market price which is the one that is near you can see 8.18 is is closer to 7.66 than 8.19 it's and the ones that have come after it you can see some people will even raise the price up to 10 and the market is saying 7.22 if i place order for this 10 it's going to trigger and i'm i'm going to have it in my balance but it's your own duty to buy from the guy that is that is closer to the market price and when you want to sell all right when you want to sell you sell from the people that are closer to this but your quantity might not be the quantity you want to buy may not uh, the person that is uh, actually buying or selling may not have that quantity for example i want to buy one vox but the guy that is selling at 7.22 which is closer to the market price he has only he has okay this one has one let's say i want to buy 10 vox all right the guy just have only one so if i place that order the order is only going to trigger for one you will see one vox in your wallet but the other ones will still be pending the other transaction will still be pending you have um let's say nine point something vox pending look the market the system will be looking for someone that actually wants to buy at that particular price again you can also cancel that order and the only one you want you'll be able to buy is nine vox again because you already have one vox in your wallet so what beat is actually like a peer-to-peer -peer, you know they actually have this peer-to-peer -peer system that allows you to buy from people that are selling and buying you know and so on and so forth so if you are trying to place an order you you receive a pump call or a trading signal that go and buy this particular token if you are buying please buy from the cheapest guy and look at the quantity he has so that you won't just buy half of what he's saying or half, half of what he's selling or some p very little percent of what he's selling if you you have, you have to be fast about it because if you are slow the market is going to go up and you, you will not be part of it all right also if you want to sell when it has already done maybe 100 percent 200 percent or whatever percentage it has done you have to look at the people that are willing to buy and buy from the cheapest and if you want to Oh, sorry you sell uh, for the uh, the one that that will favor you and make sure you look at the quantity the person actually wants to buy so that you won't just be selling a percentage of it you can also sell a percentage of it if you feel that's cool that's cool for you but um, overall i just want you to know how to buy and sell from hot bit don't use the market price or else your orders will be pending so this is what i have for you guys today if you have any question kindly comment in the section below or you can message me privately on whatsapp i'm going to drop the link to my private whatsapp line uh, in the description below and uh, if you are watching our video for the first time do well to give it a thumbs up um subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so until next time bye for now